Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and you know what question I had when I first got started with RC stuff was what is this fly sky, free sky, is it the same thing? Are people just misspelling this company's name? What is going on? Well, I'm here to tell you that no, they're not the same thing. They're two different companies. And in this video, I just want to, well, basically tell you that. So there you go. And kind of give you an example of some of the most or more common products that they have. And, and so that way you can be like, oh, I see now. This is Fly Sky and this is Free Sky. So let's get started. So first of all, they both have sky in the name. So that's where the confusion comes from. Now you have Fly Sky and there it's that's pretty easy. It's Fly Sky. As far as I know, that's how I say it. Now, Free Sky, right? It's FR Sky. So some people say FR Sky. Some people say Free Sky. Some people say Frisky. Maybe maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's Flisky and Frisky. I don't know. Probably not. I hope not. The point is the names are very similar, so the confusion is understandable. In fact, maybe it's intentional. I don't know. I'm not sure. So basically, Fly Sky, I like Fly Sky. I'm a Fly Sky guy. When I fly, I fly Fly Sky because I'm a Fly Sky guy. Uh, not to say that I don't like the other ones, it's just that I just kind of, that's just what I use Fly Sky. Fly Sky is, I would say, it's more popular with beginners, right? It's like, it's more, it's kind of the cheaper, lower end. Now, but they do have higher end models, but I would say most popularly, it is, it's most popular among beginners, I would say. Uh, for example, you got the Flysky FSI-6 right here. This is pretty much like your, kind of the, well, not the bottom of the barrel, because I guess they make some really cheap ones, but this is like the, probably the most common one that they make. And it's just a basic six channel radio. Uh, you'll see this a lot uh, that come with Eosheen uh, quadcopters on Banggood. And it'll get the job done. Really, it's a pretty good radio. And it's six channels. You can actually upgrade it to 10 channels. So go check out my tutorial on how to do that. So you really, you can get a lot out of it. But this is kind of their, their, their probably most popular one and one of their cheapest. It runs around $42 on a Banggood and around $50 ish dollars on Amazon. And then you've got stepping up a little bit, you've got the the i6X, which is basically the same as the i6, but it's 10 channel. And maybe there's like a few other little differences, but it's basically an upgraded version of the i6 radio. So I'm not sure why they why they why they didn't just get rid of the i6. I guess they just have a ton of them and then they need to sell them. I don't know. That that could be it, but this one runs around forty-seven dollars on Banggood and around 50, maybe fifty-five dollars on Amazon. But it usually comes with a receiver, and we're going to talk about receivers in a second. Now, there's also the uh, the one of the newer Flysky radios, which is the NV14, the Nirvana, and that is uh, really geared towards uh, quadcopter pilots, drone pilots, if you will, and people that like to use their thumbs, the thumbers. I'm a thumber. I like using my thumbs. Some people like pinching, like little crabs or something like that. You know, they pinch the sticks. It's kind of weird. I like to use my thumbs, so I would I would actually consider upgrading to the Nirvana. It looks pretty good, and I think the build quality is supposed to be, you know, kind of more up there. We'll switch over to Free Sky now. Now, Free Sky, I would say, is is more well known for being like mid to high level, and then definitely, definitely, there's some very high level Free Sky products, but uh, probably the more like mid to high level, you know, a good reputable brand for the hobby market, I would say. It's also going to be a little bit more expensive as well. So like the uh, so the the Nirvana, like I was just talking about, the Fly Sky Nirvana, that's about one hundred and seventy dollars. The cheapest Free Sky radio is uh, the they just came out with it. It's the Tyrannus X9 Lite, and that's about eighty dollars at least currently. And uh, I would do some research about that radio before I bought it because I've heard some bad things about it, like that 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 Free Sky is like trying to start like a new line of like radios or something and 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 you won't be able to use older receivers or something strange like that. But anyway, that's about $80. So it's still still like twice as much as as the Flysky i6 radio right there. And I guess it could maybe do more, but it kind of depends on like what you want because if it does what you want, then you really don't need it to do more. That's that's kind of my thinking. The other one is the Tyrannus, Tyrannus QX7. That's another pretty popular 
fairly somewhat new radio. I was actually thinking about getting one of those for a while. That's right around a hundred dollars, which is pretty decent. Um, I mean, that's that's it's probably a pretty good bargain, um, but to me, it's it's horribly ugly and uh, very bulky, which is horrible. That that's why I like the the Flysky radios because they are so thin, and they're just they're just really quite compact for uh, for what they are. And then you have the FreeSky Tyrannus X Lite, and that's basically like a Xbox style. Uh, transmitter it's got you know the, the, the thumbs so that's great if you want to use your thumbs i was actually thinking about getting one of those if i personally w were to switch over to free sky that's probably what i would get would be the tyrannus x light it's about 140 dollars or so ish i think but um again i've been hearing like some weird stuff about free sky at the moment so i'm definitely not going to be switching over right now but you make your own decisions just just be sure to do your homework let's talk about receivers i would say generally with fly sky you're going to have cheaper receivers but fewer options and with free sky you're going to have more expensive receivers but you could probably get a lot more out of the receivers but again it's like well what do you want to do is it you know is is good enough good enough or do you want like a bunch of stuff that you might not need but but you might i don't know anyway so for fly sky we have the ia6b receiver that's probably the most common one um it's a six channel pwm receiver it does do it can do 10 channel ibus and and, and that might not mean anything to you right now, but the point is uh, you can use that with a quadcopter as well. So that's kind of cool, but it is a little bit large and, and bulky and heavy and stuff for a quadcopter. Um, but that, that's, that's a pretty popular one. I have several. I use them a lot. They've worked very well for airplanes. Uh, and that's right around, it's on Banggood, you can get it for $15. On Amazon, uh, about $19. And like I said, if, if you usually if you get the, one of the FlySky radios, you know, you pay maybe like a few dollars more and then it will come with one of those receivers. For quadcopters, lately I've been liking the FLI 14 Plus receiver, and that's a 14 channel iBus receiver. It costs about $14 on Banggood and about $30 on Amazon, but I, I've seen it for cheaper, uh, so it's probably, probably closer to like the 14 to 20, maybe $25 range. It's, it's pretty great. For FreeSky receivers, um, again, I, I've not personally used these, but I'm just going to pick the the ones that I think would be the most common, the ones that I would use if I had a, a uh, Free Sky radio. And uh, for airplanes, it would be the RX6R. It's very hard to say. That's a six-channel PWM receiver, and it can do 16 channels S bus. So you could also use that with a quadcopter, like with a flight controller. Uh, it's about $27 on Banggood and about $44 on Amazon. So there's like big price difference there so probably somewhere in between is uh, is how much it would actually cost for uh, quadcopters i would probably get the rxsr which is a 16 channel s bus and it's very small and it you can get it for about 22 dollars from banggood currently and about 28 dollars on amazon and 20 dollars from race day quads so i would get it from race day quads so as far as the receivers one another thing to keep in mind is that with the fly sky receivers they're just not as common so if you go to i don't know some awesome flying event like flight fest if you go to one of the vendors and you ask them for a fly sky receiver like you want to buy one they probably won't have one because they're they're just they're just not as common for some reason they're just not as popular so that's kind of bad but at the same time another thing that might be kind of a factor is that there are fewer people flying with fly sky so you're less likely to get knocked out of the sky i think in theory at a big flying event like flight fest where you've got a bunch of people flying at once you're less likely to get knocked out of the sky if you're flying fly sky because there won't be as many people you know kind of on the same radio frequency protocol stuff. I have zero scientific research to really back that up, but it makes me feel good. And of course, this was in no way a comprehensive comparison or anything like that between FlySky and FreeSky and all the different products that they have. I just want to kind of give you an idea of what some of their most popular and most common kind of products are, just to give you an idea of the differences between them. And there you go. I hope that was helpful for you now that you know the difference between Fly Sky and Free Sky. Personally, I like Fly Sky, but that's just me. Choose whichever way you want. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
<clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go now. Or, do you want, you could, we'll, we'll just, okay. For fry, for fry, again, I said fry sky. I've said fry sky a bunch of times now. Okay, fry sky. The cheapest fry, free, fry, fry sky, fry sky. Fry Sky, it's just, that's, that's great. The cheapest Free Sky radio, it's really getting hard to say all these Free Skies, Fly Skies, all this. But then there's the Turan, the Free, bleh. and then you've got the Tur the Free, ah, oh my gosh, this is why I don't like Free Sky. It's so hard to say.